right, so let's uh, let's be back. Let's do some let's do some fun stuff. Um, wow, I mean, I've been gone for a long time, and the YouTube channel's gotten like a thousand subscribers since I left, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't think that would happen, um, but I think you know just to keep things a little easier for me because I was doing a lot of interviews and things like that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to just do like the first chapter of a few different stories. Um, I haven't had time to read, so this is actually gonna be more fun for me so I can kind of um, find something new that I wanna you know, jump on. Um, so this one's gonna be Emperor's Domination. I definitely wanna do Reverend Insanity, do a few more. Uh, just another disclaimer, I don't speak Chinese, so some of the pronunciations are gonna be off. Also, I haven't read uh, Shinsha in a, in a while. Um, so some of the things that I actually knew how to pronounce before are kind of like not fresh in my mind. So I'm going to do the best I can with uh, Emperor's Domination. Just a little bit about it. It is translated by Immortal Emperor Bao on Wuxia World. Um, it's uh, author uh, Yen Bi is, uh It looks like it's licensed on Kidian or Chidian, whatever Chidian, whatever you want to, whatever you want to go by. Um, Let's see, synopsis. A boy that was in prison for millions of years had regained his mortal body. He became a disciple of the declining cleansing incense, <laughs> incense ancient sect, where his patriarch used to be his disciple. Now he will bring his sect back to its former glory. This is his journey to reach the apex and take revenge on those who had imprisoned him. This is his story of meeting old friends and making new companions. And this is his path of traversing the nine worlds and becoming the next ruler of the heavens. Yeah, it's... <laughs> cleansing incense ancient like that's a lot of uh that's a lot of a lot of dis discretionary words for for one for one sect um pretty uh pretty similar kind of more vague synopsis from uh the chidian uh and a lot of the reviews are really positive uh the top one at the top is uh this is what we call junk food tasting acceptable in small amounts but the cause of nausea and indigestion when consumed so like i read i think a hundred 30 chapters of this let's see here uh you can take oh man my bookmarks aren't showing um but my like i think i'm at like 115 in this but i let it write it like two years ago so i i honestly don't really remember this story at all um i have a feeling it's going to include a lot of the tropes that we love so let's go ahead and get into it by i mean a chat oh it's a two-part chapter maybe we'll do both we'll see all right let's see how hard it is to to keep it going um, chapter one, old, oh, start, it starts me off with a sheep. Awesome. Old devil. Uh, bah, bah, bah. the cries of a young shepherd sheep echoed across the usually tranquil mountain range. Li Chia crawled to the top of a cliff with the cold night's breeze violently blowing against his body. His body was currently drenched in perp perspiration. At 13 years of age, a little boy like Li Chia was using all of his might to climb this mountain range. The scene in the night sky would give a macabre sensation to just about anyone. Although the night was quiet, Li Chia's mind was being tormented by a flame of uncertainty. Coming from a poor family, his parents were both peasants. At the age of seven, he began his life as a shepherd. His family name was Li, and his name was Li Chia because he cried for seven days and seven nights after birth. Just a quick brief stop. If you go to the bottom, you'll see that there's a description of what his name means down here at the bottom. Just uh, in case you guys are wondering, uh, Chi means uh, seven and Ye means at night or night. All right. Um, cool. Today he had completed his ta daily tasks. However, during the approach of dawn, he noticed that he was missing his leading sheep. While filled with wordy, he rushed back to the mountain range to search for it. After seemingly scouring the entire mountain range, he still couldn't even find a shadow of his sheep. Thinking about the missing sheep and its evil owner, Shang Dahu, Li Chie feared for the worst in his heart. Suddenly, Li Chie thought of one place where the sheep might be. There was only one location he didn't search, the immortal demon grotto. As he looked towards the immortal demon grotto before him, he noticed that the mountain range in the dark night resembled a fierce beast from the ancient desolate era. Its mouth appeared to be gaping, hungering for human flesh. Hearing the howls of wolves resound from all around him, he couldn't help but shiver in fear. The immortal demon grotto was considered a cursed land in the surrounding area. Legend states that an evil demon presided over this location, a demon who instantly consumed any trespassers. No one had ever made it out of the cave alive. At this moment, the sound of Zhang Dahu's whip reverberated in Li Chie's ears. If Li Chie truly lost his sheep, then Zhang Dahu would definitely whip his flesh to tatters. 
Having reached this point, Li Chia gritted his teeth and approached the cave. His body disappeared in the night. Insert the Wilhelm scream here. I was like, ah! <laughs> the calm night was interrupted by a boy's miserable scream. Li Chia's frightened voice rang out again. You, you, what do you want? Ah! Suddenly the screams came to an end. An unknown amount of time later, at the depths of the immortal demon grotto, the silence was broken by a menacing voice. Good, good, good. My immortal dark crow has finally been completed. Since only a soul was missing today, I will conveniently borrow your soul for a bit. <sighs> A moment later, as each flap resounded loudly, a strange dark crow flew away from the immortal demon grotto. Fly, fly, fly. I will use your soul to find all the forbidden burials. Fly across all the lands. As long as the nine worlds exist, I will find you again. From the depths of the immortal demon grotto, the heavy voice came out once again and lingered in the air. From then on, throughout this heaven and earth, the dark crow flew across the plains, from heavenly cities to the most dangerous reaches and secret areas. It flew without a free will straight through the nine world for eras on end. As time passed, millions of years came and went. A new peerless master would rise as another fell. Slowly the crow would have disappear, only to reappear later on. If it wanted, it wanted to escape its master, it wanted to find a purpose to its life. From the alchemy god to immortal emperor Fei, immortal emperor Zhushi to immortal emperor Minran, the immortal emperor Tunri to immortal emperor Bingya, all the way up until Black Dragon King. Behind each of these paragons lies the shadow of a crow, one that struggled to find freedom. As these strongest beings came and went, the crow continued to mysteriously appear throughout the river of time. The crow was not willing to have his fate controlled. It wanted to oppose the most frightening character in this world. And now millions of years has gone by with the passing of many eras. All right. So that's a little bit of a preface, it looks like, for the story. Here we go. Li Chia, who was floating in a river, was suddenly dragged out by a person. Ah! As he was being dragged out, Li Chia suddenly woke up. His first reaction was to jump as he was unfamiliar with his own body. Unable to find his footing, he almost fell down to the ground. Ah, my body! Looking down and seeing his body had stayed the same, Li Chia was both ecstatic and scared. Even after the thousands of struggles while fighting against the unending waves and winds, Dark Crow Li Chia couldn't, still couldn't contain his emotions after regaining his own body. Taking a deep breath, he lifted his head and found that an old man was in front of him. Ha ha ha. It is this old man who saved you from your impending doom. The old man loudly laughed in an inglorious manner, revealing his three remaining yellow teeth. His demeanor made others feel that his smile was very sinister. Up the stream, Li Chia could see that the dim structure of the immortal demon grotto. His eyes became increasingly cold and his aura exceeded anything that a 13-year-old child could exude. Li Chia took a deep breath and then stared at the old man. After a while, he eventually asked, "'How should I address you, old man?' Cleansing incense ancient sect old devil, the old man answered with his mouth agape, still revealing his three golden teeth while smiling and spitting everywhere. Cleansing incense ancient sect, Li Chia whispered under his breath. The name made him recall the sealed memories in his mind. These memories were from a time when he was still imprisoned in the body of the Dark Crow. Li Chia regained his composure and asked the old man, Right now, who has the heaven's will? The old man was still smiling as he replied, Heaven's will, eh? Right now, no one in this era has been able to shoulder the heaven's will. Where is immortal emperor Ta Kong? After hearing the old man's response, Li Chia demeanor darkened. How long had he been asleep for? Over a hundred thousand years? Immortal emperor Ta Kong has been missing for thirty thousand years. Li Chia inquired the old man once more. What about the black dragon king of heaven protector palace? No one knows. The black dragon king went missing at the same time as immortal emperor Ta Kong. Old devil shook his head. Hearing this, Li Chia expression dramatically changed. He looked back at the old at the immortal demon grotto again and finally understood why he'd regained his body. Let us go. With a saddened expression, Li Chie turned around and started to walk away. He didn't care if Old Devil was following him or not. After experiencing pseudo-immortality, he knew exactly what he had to do. All right, then there's a break into this next place. The Heaven Protector Palace was an incredibly powerful lineage in the current times. Back in that era when the Black Dragon King, a peerless master, was still alive, no one could match him across the Nine Worlds. He was respected for three whole generations. Even though he'd been missing for 30,000 years, the Heaven Protector Palace still stood arrogantly in his domain. At this moment, a young boy around the age of 13 and a lowly old man with three golden teeth were standing outside of the Heaven Protector Palace. Just beyond the perimeter of the palace's outer city, Li Chie burned ceremonial money while whispering, Little Black Dragon, you don't have to worry. You've helped me to regain my body, my life. One day, I will destroy the evil land to seek revenge for you. After the ceremony was over, Li Chie stared at the Heaven Protector Palace in front of him. The scene was still the same, but the people were no longer there. Everything had become foreign. He reminisced about the old days with the little black dragon. The memory of them building the city from the ground up through their efforts was fresh in his mind. Unfortunately, after 30,000 years, not many remembered the dark crow hiding behind the curtains. 
<laughs> Let us go back to the cleansing incense ancient sect. At this time, the old man glanced at Lichia and stated his purpose while revealing his three shiny golden teeth. Let us go. Lichia calmly nodded his head. No matter how illustrious or mysterious this old man might be, his origin could not surprise Lichia. Lichia had experienced countless difficulties as his soul had been trapped inside the Dark Crow for millions of years. Era after era, he walked together shoulder to shoulder alongside immortal emperors and became friends with the alchemy god. So what could actually surprise him? As they were leaving, an extremely elegant and beautiful girl stepped out of the palace. She resembled an agent, an angel from heaven, an otherworldly go goddess the moment she stepped out. She inadvertently noticed the remains of the fire from the ceremony, as well as some mysterious symbols beside it. After seeing these symbols, her expression greatly changed. Who was having a ceremony ju here just now? <laughs> an old servant nearby immediately went around to look for the information and came back with results. The city guards say that an old man and a young boy around the age of 13 were here just now. They were burning ceremonial money. The girl issued her command. Give chase and find them immediately. Your highness is supposed to go to the god's mountain right now, the old servant hesitantly whispered. The goddess softly yelled, find them. Her body then disappeared as she flew across the space to find the two. In the end, she was unable to find them. She dejectedly returned to the palace after her search. The symbols beside the fire remained in her head. These symbols hadn't appeared for a long time, so why was it that they appeared in the outskirts after tens of thousands of years? Were they friends or foes? An old loyal servant reported, Your Highness, we still couldn't find the people who were burning the ceremonial money. The goddess commanded with a serious demeanor, Order everyone to keep in mind that if any news about these two people show up, immediately report back to me. The servant was extremely surprised to hear this. With the current power of the Heaven Protector Palace and the reputation of their goddess, it would be rare for her to show such a serious expression. The servant asked, Then what about the trip to God's Mountain? Cancel it, the goddess exclaimed. I have to read the ancient books that the ancestors left behind. Something strange is happening. She then immediately went to the deepest parts of the Forbidden Grounds at the Heaven Protector Palace. Whew. This thing is a mouthful. All right. The Cleansing Incense Ancient Sect resided in the nation of the Heavenly Jewel Kingdom. This sect was an immortal emperor lineage with a long history. At the beginning of the emperor's era, immortal emperor Min Run proudly stood at the peak and established a sect naming it cleansing incense unfortunately after millions of years it could not withstand the test of time and its unforgiving nature the sect was no longer of the immortal emperor rank and could no longer rule the land like in the past no matter how hard it tried it could neither regain the ancient glory nor prevent their unrelenting and slow demise elder i have bad news a mortal said that he wants us to accept him as a prime disciple a disciple hurriedly reported to the first elder of the cleansing ancient insect <laughs> cleansing incense ancient sect as this elder was stepping outside kick him off the mountain without giving the disciple a glance the elder continued why would you even report something so ridiculous a mortal wanting to become the prime disciple of their sect what a joke a prime disciple was the same as the sect master's protege the one with the highest chance of becoming the future sect master of course when the sect master wasn't present the first elder could still personally take care of these matters the disciple stuttered but but, but he was recommended by old devil raising his eyebrows the first el elder unhappily repeated Old Devil. Was he bribed by liquor? Is that why he's recommending a mortal? Old Devil belonged to the sect, but the sect did not want to recognize the geezer. Although the name sounded very heroic, this old man had caused the sect to lose all face. Old Devil had three good qualities to him. He was very good at spending money, lying, and fooling around in brothels. This is why they called him Old Devil. He had not cultivated any methods to the end, but he did have a very shocking background within the sect. Rumor has it that he was the bastard child of the previous sect master. This was why, when the last sect master passed away, he asked for the current sect master to take care of Old Devil. However, there was another rumor stating that Old Devil was a bastard from the sect master two generations ago. Because the previous sect master owed this person a great favor, he had no choice but to accept this piece of trash and unwillingly take care of Old Devil. Before this previous sect master passed away, he also asked the current sect master to take care of Old Devil. No matter who his father was, the whole sect in upper echelons had no love for the old man. They detested the unflattering words regarding Old Devil's character and didn't care about the rumors in the didn't care about the rumors in the world. From the elders to the lowest ranking disciples, the entire sect did not welcome this old man without any cultivation. The first elder yelled out in annoyance, So what if it's the old devil's recommendation? Kick the mortal off the mountain. His mourning and good mood had been ruined by this event. But but he had said that the cleansing incense ancient sect order from the old devil. The disciple stuttered once again out of fear, cleansing incense an ancient order. After hearing these words, the first elder's expression darker, darkened. After quietly contemplating the situation, he quickly ordered, Gather all the elders and let tell the mortal to wait outside of the grand chamber. The cleansing incense ancient sect has a total of six elders. After hearing the four words, cleansing incense ancient order, the other five quickly came to the meeting. The patriarch of the sect was a mortal emperor Min Run. 
the one who left behind three of these orders. Two had been reclaimed by the sect, but the third one fell into the hands of Old Devil. Outside of the request from the previous sect master to take care of Old Devil, the second reason why the elders were helpless against him was because he possessed the last order. The order represented a mortal emperor Min Run. The older could request anything from the Cleansing Incense Ancient Sect. Sitting in the Grand Chamber of the Cleansing Incense Ancient Sect while staring at an elusive statue covered in golden smoke, Li Chia couldn't help but recall memory many stories from the past. The statue of immortal Emperor Minren stood strong at the highest point of this location. Although many years had passed, the statue still carried an ancient aura seemingly capable of piercing the nine heavens. Spectators couldn't help but worship this statue. It was as if the emperor was actually in front of them. Li Chie didn't know how to describe his feelings as he stared at the statue. The emperor was gone, but Li Chie was still alive and forever will be. Although he had achieved his goal and regained his body, all of his old acquaintances had slowly disappeared in the river of time. Whew. Wow, that's a mouthful of a, of, a, uh, of a first chapter. And it's also kind of confusing, right? Like, it looks like, it looks like, okay, so the, it's just a young, he's a young shepherd boy. This is like way, 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 way in the past. And he's got a Jang Dai who's not really anybody. He's just like the, the shepherd owner. And then he goes and he's like, okay, well, I have to go get the sheep back. So he goes in the cave gets kidnapped by the uh, um, dude in the cave, basically, who creates the Immortal Dark Crow from souls and stuff like that. So basically, he was the last soul to create the Immortal Dark Crow. And then the Immortal Dark Crow is obviously immortal, but like just kept getting passed on to different like strongest experts and peak people of the time. And then it looks like he was dragged out and helped back into his body by somebody apparently old the old guy who said he saved him but i think it's really like he was the twists of time or something like that so it looks like he's back in the original body of the young boy but now he has like eras and eras and eras of information and people that he knows and has interacted with so i guess that the dark crow took on the like created a uh, artifact spirit out of the last soul that it took in. So it's artifact spirit was basically Li Chie, and then Li Chie is now back to being human. So it's kind of interesting. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot of like, um, and I'm like assuming based on having read hundred chapters of it or something, it seems more of like, and it definitely is more of one of those stories that as the first review said, it's kind of like candy. It's like, you're not really experiencing any big, like triumphs over adversity it's more about like going through and just like him experiencing nostalgia meeting up with old things of the past and like learning the history of these things and like taking it it's basically as a cheat code because he knows everything so it's kind of interesting i don't know i had fun reading what i read now that i kind of remember what the story was um but yeah i'd love to know what you guys think of it um and if you think it's if you don't spoil anything, but if you think it's worth reading, comment below. Like if you think people should read it, comment below. If you think it's not really worth reading, feel free to comment below. But also don't spoil things, man. It's just such a, you know, I just re I recently read um, solo leveling, and somebody immediately on Twitter spoiled it for me when I was asking for a place that I could finish reading it, and that was pretty frustrating. Um, but yeah, aside from that. Um, Hopefully uh, you guys are glad I'm back. Comment with some novels that you want me to do readings of. Um, I'm still a little rusty on it, but uh, yeah, it's cool to cool that you know the channel has grown so much in my absence without really putting up any videos. Um, I also kind of half-assed putting this OBS um, thing together, so you know, like uh, everything you're seeing. Um, so like, I'll probably tweak it a bit to make it better because i noticed that like my scrolling on this you weren't able to see where i was actually reading um so i definitely want that to be fixed in the future but anyway uh thanks guys and cheers <laughs>